So, hey guys, Chauzo here. See, I'm a bit late to this, but I've been busy with Kisuna and I've not been feeling that well either, but yeah, finally I felt like talking a bit about the new legends on JP and yeah, it's the Halloween batch and uh, like despite last year just being int and basically just mono int, I felt like it was a lot more interesting. I'm not really feeling these units too much, like I think, but they are both good of course. I think Perona is probably more useful, and the boy is pretty unique, but yeah. Yeah, starting on this card just to showcase the art because uh, the compile info here is not up to date, so I'm going to move to uh, Reddit and Koala Sans post. And yeah, we are start talking about... Uh, Boa Hancock legend, and she's a quick free spirit shooter captain. Boost bo bo stack color and those two classes by 5 times attack, HP 1.25 times. And if you take damage from the enemy and that enemy doesn't have full immunity, uh, you can put them into the Mero Mero state. And it's a 7 hit Mero Mero, that will be important later, it's very interesting actually. It basically guarantees you can stall one turn, as long as it's not full immunity for every, every hit you take. Unless you have some very old units with very high combo hits. Then the special. And yeah, that might be like the most questionable part of this unit, I think. But yeah, let's look at it. Uh, reduce six turns of special by an attack down. That's good, of course. For two turns, add 1000 base attack to quick free spirit and shooters. For two turns, lock chain to 3.5 times. And if you already have a base attack boost active on crew, then extend it for one, extend that buff for one turn. So yeah, they started doing this a lot on JP, and I think it's actually very good that they do that because it basically means uh, when specials do nothing, you are always guaranteed they do something which can be nice in some scenarios like if you run two boa boa you only really need to use one boa you can give the other boa some purpose too so yeah and also like future proofs like if we get future units with base attack buffs maybe higher you have a unit here we can extend that buff just gives it more use in the future as well now that's the as far as i go with positives if we go for Things I find, find questionable. Uh, like, sure, it's cool with a uh, special that both handles a lot of debuffs and also handles extra damage, but uh, like, base attack boost, like, I feel like it's something I need to learn more about personally. Like, I know it's good, like, 1000 extra attack is a lot, it's noticeable, but you really don't need that extra stat boost and when you do go for that kind of extra boost it's usually when you really need a lot of extra damage and i feel like having a chain lock together with base attack boost is very bad synergy since like when you want higher stats for more damage why will you go for a chain lock because Chain lock is not like optimal for damage. Like it's, I'm not saying chain lock is bad. I'm just talking when you want to do as much damage as possible. You almost never want to use a chain lock. Then you want to stack chains like chain boundary, chain multiplier, chain boost, maybe sugar. Like that gives so much more damage than a chain lock. So yeah, it just feels a bit weird like that. Still, it does add quite a lot of damage, and it's pretty unique buff so it's not like you'll be stack you'll have you'll be able to run a lot of units with this boa that handles other more common buffs and the boa handles these and like if you do a base attack boost you can maybe skip another one like color affinity and stuff so yeah it's not like it's bad i just find it a bit weird that combination and another thing I find weird is removing a special bind, but no sailor with fear. It's just pretty weird, I feel like. At the same time, the 
liver, uh, the liver breaks are very good, like hunger, pain healing, barrier, three of the best, but yeah, I probably remove pinch. Like pinch is very good, but and it's a it does pretty good synergy with Boas kit too, so it's very hard. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. And the super type type condition is pretty, I think the super type is pretty cool. Condition is weird, like seven turns have passed. I wonder if they count like moving between stages if that's one or two turns. Like with ships it's just one turn, but with uh uh otherwise it usually counts as two, so hopefully it's the latter, like then it goes really fast getting to seven turns so you don't need to stall for the super type that will suck but yeah you heal up 15,000 HP which is a nice bonus the big thing though is putting enemies in mirror mirror stage for 10 hits and this I think is very cool because if you take damage you apply seven turns of mirror mirror then you can use the super type and you apply 10 more so that's 17 that means you got 17 turns of Mero Mero, and this means, like, if you have the usual 4 combo hit, that means you can attack 4, 8, 12, 16, 4 times, which is a big deal, like, the normal Weechi Boa does 15, so that's only 3 hits, and that extra hit can be very nice from time to time. Uh, I assume it can't go through full immunity, though. But yeah, that would be pretty busted as well. Like Mero Mero is a pretty damn cool mechanic, honestly. <laughs> and yeah, no special sailors like immune to special bind makes sense. The support is cool, but it's just so dumb too. Like I don't know if you know this, but we have a raid boa pretty old, and her support is basically the same. You get chain coefficient reduction debuff applied. And you put a chain lock in. The only difference here is that it's a tiny bit higher. I think that raid boa is like 2.5 times chain lock. This one is 2.75 times. And the bigger change is that Luffy is supported. So yeah, just another godlike Luffy support. Like free chain lock when you need it, basically. That we'll see a lot of use, really. But the, the Salazonia, Marigold and Mark already had this support, basically. I've used it quite a bit on Margaret, actually. But yeah, let's get on to Perona, and I find Perona very interesting. I'm not sure why they're so they're going so hard with ignoring uh, immunity. F like first, they didn't do it for Boa, but I guess that makes sense. But they've done it a lot more now with first page one and Ulti, and now this Perona. But yeah, Captain. She's an int, free spirit, and shooter unit. She boosts those class and classes and colors by four times attack, one point three times HP. And this is when it can get complicated. But if and the enemies that have a negative states, that then that is the negative debuff for Perona, same as Miyok and Perona. You increase the damage against them by one point three times, so that four times attack times one point three times. So that's 5.2 times attack, so that's very big, really. And if you have any other uh, debuff, like delay, any kind of poison, death down, you also get an additional 1.25 times attack, so that basically puts her up to uh, 5 times attack total, so it's like a nice bonus. Will it be nice if they added like the strong enemy thing too, even if like. It doesn't work with Perona as captain, but uh, whatever. But yeah, I think that's a cool concept. Like you start at lower attack, but if you uh, uh, basically fill out a certain condition, you get higher attack than normal. So that will be pretty cool, especially for arena-like content and such. And I can really see double Perona being really good for that, since like. Uh, debuff in ignoring uh, full immunity more ignoring the uh, conditionals there I finally got it <laughs> are still pretty rare so it's not like there's any clash between specials either but yeah let's look at the special 
Shinji's battle matching, empty block, bomb recovery, tandem G orbs to matching orbs. So that's nice. Should have been unfavorable as well. Now it is unfavorable, but uh like can't you just change all orbs to matching instead? Like it's can be annoying those these kind of special from time to time. But at the same time, this piranha does so much, so you might as well see that as a bonus. Uh, for 3 turns, boost attack against enemies with delay, poison strong, poison toxic death down, negative state by 2 times, and lock chain to 3.25 times. When HP is 80% or lower, when the special is triggered, put enemies in negative state. And yeah, negative basically means 20% reduction to attack and defense. That will ignore debuff protection. When chain lock is already active, then extend the duration of that chain lock by one turn and add an additional 0.5 times to the chain lock. So yeah, that's basically built to have synergy with Boa since Boa was a two-turn chain locker. Uh, Perone is a three-turn chain locker. Uh, but of course, if you use it with double Perona, you get a four-turn chain lock, and it's three point five times. I'm not sure why they're so being so stingy with chain locks. It's basically been three point five times forever, really. But yeah, special is pretty cool. Like having the ability to the uh, get the uh, conditional true full immunity is always nice. But there's a condition here with HP being eight percent lower, which is. If this was it, this would have been pro made Perona pretty bad, or much less useful. But if you look at the super type, super easy condition, trigger two special, you basically get 10 turns of negative debuff that ignores full immunity, and you change color orbs to matching orbs of crew. So yeah, basically with that super type, her special becomes really godlike, so... Yeah, this Perona is basically a captain only unit, but she does a fa fine job being a captain as well. Being free spirit, obviously, is very, very nice. And it's cool to get another shooter captain. Like, we do need more of those. It's very fun to make shooter teams. I can see it being funny to make a Perona and Ledger Capone Ledger team. That sounds a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm a big fan of this unit, really, I must say. Super strong kit. Only negative, of course, is the initial low damage, but if we use this Prona mainly as a unit you'd use in arena-like content, maybe some garb challenges, like, I, there are probably better options, but then she is very good, like, this is the most damage you'll get with Int, really. I'd say, like, it's basically like we 3 Katakuri, but on steroids, <laughs> like, we 3 Katakuri is so much min-max all the time, you have to manage the HP and everything, and Perona is like, I've used two specials, I can put you in negative and get a two times conditional true full immunity, like, yeah. And also get a chain lock on top of that, so, yeah, very cool. Uh, as for the other units, like the rare recruit batch is very uh, meh, I must say. Soul King looked alright, but I feel like he could have been better as well. But Perona very cool, Boa will see use, but less cool. But it's nice to get a Halloween unit that isn't int, but I feel personally like... Uh, I feel like... Strength will make more sense for Halloween, you know, blood and such, but yeah, I'm not Bandai, so. But yeah, let me know what you think of the new Legends. Like, when these get to Global, we already synced up with JP, so who knows when we get them. Will it be nice to get them now, but at least next year, we'll get the Halloween Legends together with JP. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.